memory verse from the book of Daniel, chapter 3, verse uh, six, uh, 17 and 18. It says, If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery finance, and he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Actually, it's a King James Version. Uh, I want to just talk about that. Have a stand when you pray. Have a standing point. I'm praying for this. But even if it doesn't happen, this is my stand. You remember the story of these three gentlemen, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abdelnego. They had reached a point whereby they had either to believe in God or give up. And at that point was, you either worship this image or we burn you. We put you in fire. But they said, okay, we believe in our God. He will save us. He will deliver us. <coughs> but even if he doesn't save us, we will not worship this image. Having a stand when you pray. We have a lot of prayer requests. But what's your stand? You've been praying for a child. You've been praying for revival, for restoration here and there. But what's your stand? If things don't go your way, if things don't work out the way you expect them to, what is your stand? Are you going to be like these three gentlemen who say, even if our God does not deliver us, we can assure you, don't expect us to worship your idol. Do you have this kind of standard? Even if I'm jobless, I'm not still. I know I'm praying for ABCD, but even if I don't get it, God, you remain God in my life. Amen. Because sometimes we pray, hoping it will happen. What if it does not happen? It's still God. It's the same thing we learned about last week. Like, I will you still serve God if there is no heaven? So when you're praying, because God says, ask to be given to you. You're praying for whatever you're praying for. Your grades at school. God, I want to pass. My God will make it for me. If you fail, are you going to decide to start cheating? Hacking people's documents? Not at all. You must have a stand. I have prayed to pass my examination. But even if I don't pass, he remains God. Amen. And I will not defy his commandments. I will remain faithful to him. So in whatever we do, let us have a stand when we pray. And the stand is, no matter what happens, we remain faithful to God. Amen. No matter what happens, either in our good, either against our good, we will remain faithful to God. I'm asking for a child, but even if I don't have a child, I will remain faithful to God. Amen. I will not start running up or watch out in what them? Waganda. Yeah. Yeah, but which, doctor? <laughs> which doctors, you know? Yeah. And since prayers are not working, they say now go fetch the morning water, then do like this, then turn around six times. To... No, <laughs> say to yourself, I want a child, God give me a child. He gave a child to Anna. He gave a child to Sarah. Yes. I will also get one. But even if I don't get any, it's fine with me. Amen. He remains God. Amen. So have a stand when you pray. Yes. That is the memory verse I had for you. Amen. So it's from the book of Daniel 3, 17 and 18. Yes. 